Yeah, that's me. Hopping from one sloop to another with a chest of legends as a galleon rolls in on me. And I bet you're wondering, just whose chest of legends is that anyway? Well, it isn't mine. I mean, it is now, but we had to go for a lot to get it. And even more as we made our getaway. So grab a grog and sit down as I tell you about this week's Tales of Getting Booty. Another day, another session, looking for Athena tornadoes to ransack and rumble. While we roamed around the Sea of Thieves, waiting to see that beautiful swirling green vortex, we stumbled across a sloop anchored at a shrine. But as we pulled up to the sitting duck that was the sloop, my crewmate's keen eye spotted the tiniest glimpse of an Athena tornado. Hey yo, is that an Athena? Hang on. Seeing as the sloop was already sitting there unattended, we decided we should momentarily borrow their ship and bring it with us. If we could make use of it at the Legend of the Veil tornado, we may be able to get away with all the loot. And so we sailed across half the map, inching ourselves closer and closer to the coveted chest of legends. And as we did this, messing around with our two ships, one of the owners of the sloop I was borrowing returned. And well, where the hell did he go? Hey. Is, the, is he back? Yeah. Hey guy. <laughs> Hello. Hey. Hey. We're borrowing your shirt. They had vanished before my very eyes, and things kept getting stranger too. There's a galley? Um. It's a freak and the galley? A galleon, a brigantine, our two sloops, and whoever was at the Athena event. The whole bleeding server was here, man. And as we inched toward the Athena tornado, another owner of the sloop surprised me. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Before you kill me, don't attack me. Wait, wait, wait. Just wait. I tried my best to negotiate with the sloop's owner, but they seemingly were incapable of speech. I mean, they had no might. Wait, stop attacking me and talk. I have a proposition. We, we'll give you an Athena. We just need to borrow your ship and we'll give you an Athena, okay? See this tornado over here? This is what we're gonna go and steal. You in? Jump if you're in, jump if you're in. Let's go, good stuff. I had managed to sweet talk the ship's owner and with them now on board with our dastardly scheme, we would have more manpower to rumble this Legend of the Veil vale Voyager once completed. But caution was still needed. The galleon we had spotted waiting was now pointing toward the event, ready to make a move at a moment's notice. Uh, that galley's now turned facing this way, he's ready. Considering that we were already an alliance of two, faking an alliance with the owner of the voyage seemed like the best strategy to proceed. I'm gonna go see if we can alliance with these guys. And so as Jack negotiated with the voyage owner, I instructed the crew of clearly new players to attack the battlements to speed up the process. Right, try and shoot this building on our right. This is chaotic as... Bro, I'm so confused. Ahoy! I got some new players with me. Ah! With only the central battlement standing, I took this opportunity to lunge over the waves and get myself into position to steal the chest of legends. All right, fellas, I'm gonna go onto the main part of the building. You just keep spinning around and shooting, okay? Maybe two more. All right, I'm hiding. Oh, they might have seen me. I was hiding right there where the loot would spawn. But as I did this, the owner of the voyage turned the corner and may have seen me get into position. It was too late to adjust my hiding place though. I just have to pray they didn't see me. And worse still, the galleon we had spotted was now making its move. That galley's pulling up. The final battlement was now destroyed. I grabbed the chest of legends with the speed of a brigantine in crosswind and rushed off the battlements into the water, aiming to board the sloop we had borrowed earlier as a jumping off point to get to my own ship. Swim that way and I'll come pick you up. I'm on their ship. Ahoy jump fellas. Up, jump up. Jump, jump off and jump on. How can we meet you? No, you're gonna make it. Oh, let's go, you on? Let's go, let's go. <laughs> Thanks for your help. With the chest of legends on board, we began to make our exit. But as we did this, the galleon rolled up on us. Yeah, the Athena, the Athena guys have got it. We're about to turn around and sink them if you want to join. My crewmate Jack had spun them a lie that brought us an extra crucial second as we made our getaway. But they were quick to realize he was lying and began to harpoon our ship. If they were to drop their anchor right here while their harpoon was attached to our ship, it would be over for us. Thinking quickly, I grabbed a handful of blunderbombs to get them off us. And Jack had spotted a keg in the water as their ship was heading right toward it. Yep, there it is. Told you. Their ship had ran right into it, buying us another crucial second to get away from their harpoon range. And as we began to make our way to getting the hell out of there, they began firing at us. Holy sh**, Jack, that was amazing. 
Good day, sirs. Been a, been an honor. Look, bro, we could take these kids on. Look at that naval. Easy. Quickly, we raced toward the closest outpost, but it was still a couple of quadrants away. And worse still, we were sailing with the wind to our backs, meaning that the galleon would be able to catch up to us before we even touch land. We needed to sail directly into the wind, as no other ship can catch a sloop sailing into the wind, especially a galleon. Okay, so which way is into the wind? West. And so we sailed west, bound for Sanctuary Outpost. It was a distance to go, but so long as the wind didn't shift direction, we should be safe. We'd built a bit of a distance between us and the galleon, but if we could get them anchored for a moment, it would help secure the sail of the Chest of Legends at the outpost. And so I hopped into the ocean and made my way toward them. They had caught me, but we were still at an advantage. Well, for now. The wind had shifted, removing the advantage we had over the galleon. But they hadn't noticed the shift in wind direction yet, as their sails had not been angled correctly. This was also the time for us to lower the alliance. We wanted to keep it up so the sloop we had borrowed earlier would receive their share of gold and reputation. But there was no way in hell we were letting the galleon get a slice too. We were only a couple of quadrants away from Sanctuary Outpost now, but as we cornered Lone Cove, the galleon had bridged the gap at an alarming rate due to the shift in wind direction. I had to change course to northwest, taking us away from Sanctuary Outpost. If we kept sailing southwest, the galleon would catch us, a risk I wasn't willing to take so long as the Chest of Legends was in our possession. It was Jack's turn to board them. If he could get their anchor down, we may be able to ram into Sanctuary Outpost before they catch up to us. Anchored. Oh, anchored. He managed to get their anchor down, not only stopping them, but turning their ship away from Sanctuary. And so I shifted direction again. We were just moments away from the outpost, but they were quick to recover and back on our tail. And as I passed the Brigantine at a nearby island, I figured I'd try and enlist their help, if only to buy us an extra second. Help us. Ah, help us. Please, the galleon. The galleon was on us, but we were so close to the shores of Sanctuary Outpost, I could practically kiss the mysterious stranger. We'd go for the gambit. Oh, they're really coming, dude. Uh, I don't know what to do here. Wait, should I just ram the island? Yeah. Oh my god, this is terrifying me. <laughs> not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. Go, go, go. Dashing to the tavern to sell the chest of legends, the galleon fired over its entire crew to cut us off. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. And we had pulled it off. The chest sold to the mysterious stranger. We were in the clear, and the galleon would leave with nothing. We sold it. And if you want to see me defend another chest of legends against some sweaty crews, then have a look at this video here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.